first check out the moon in action. Now I'm going to school you on what you just saw. Hi everyone, my name is Angel and my project video is about moon phases, tides, and solar eclipse. First we will talk about moon phases. The phase of the moon we see depends on which direction the sunlight is hitting it and the angle we see that from Earth. There are eight different moon phases. The first moon phase is called new moon from Earth. You cannot see this moon. It looks like a huge black ball to us. On the other side of this face, the moon is completely covered in sunlight. The first moon phase looks like what you are looking at now. Uh, the second moon phase is called waxing crescent. Now, as my moon slowly moves to the left, you can see a little bit of light. This is what it will look like. As the moon keeps orbiting, we start to see the third third phase, which is called the first quarter. Now it will look like this. The fourth phase is called waxing gears. With the phase, you can see most of the light. And now it will look like this. The fifth phase is called full moon. This is when you can see the entire moon. This is what it will look like. Now we are going to go through all the phases again, but in reverse order. Phase 6 of the moon is called Wayne Gibbous, and this is what it looks like. Three weeks after the new moon and one week after the full moon is once again half lit. The terminator splitting the moon's face into two even halves. Our seventh moon face is called the third quarter. This is what it will look like. A few days later, the moon is a crescent again, getting thinner. This is our last phase. Our last phase is called a winged crescent. And this is what it will look like. Now let's talk about neap and spring tides. This is a demonstration of spring tides. Greater than average, tides are called spring tides. Even they're not called spring tides just because of the season spring. Um, spring tides occur uh, near the time of a new moon or full moon, and this is what a spring tide looks like. So now we will be talking about neap tides. When the moon is not in line with the sun, with it is positioned ninety degrees to the line between sun and earth tides due to the moon and sun partially, partially canceled each other. That occurs when an observer on Earth sees a half moon in the sky. Now, neap tides occur during quarter moons. And now I want to ask you a question. How do you think tides are affected at this time of the month? To answer that question, it would be smaller tides. And this is what a neap tides would look like. Now let's talk about solar and lunar eclipse. A solar eclipse happens when a moon shadow falls somewhere on the surface of the Earth. It looks like this. And now this is a lunar eclipse. A lunar eclipse is the opposite when the Earth shadows falls across the moon. And it looks like this. And that will be all. And this is my moon phases, tides, and solar eclipse project. Thank you very much. Bye.